We're on lesson 10 dash, uh, 1 dash 10, chapter 1, lesson 10, and this is from the workbook, um, uh, chapter 1, lesson 10. And we're using division to isolate the variable. So we're doing inverse operations uh, for multiplication problems to isolate the variable. So we have, uh, we learned that the inverse of a of subtraction is addition. The inverse of addition is subtraction. Now the inverse of multiplication is division. So to undo multiplication, as the book says, we do a division problem. To get rid of the six times, six times, we divide by six. I think of it as isolating the V. What do I do? What kind of operation do I do to get one V? Well, six divided by six is one, or we say cancel it out. We're left with just v. Six divided by six is one v. That's the same as just writing v. And using our balance scale, we know that what we do to one side of the equal sign, we have to do the same to the other. So 84 divided by six is 14. And you can solve that out if you need to. On your scratch paper, 84 divided by six. Yeah. 6, 2, uh, 6 times 4, 24. There we go. So V, and you can plug it in. 6 times 14 equals 84, and that works just fine. Same thing here. 12 times Q equals 144. How do I isolate the Q? I can divide the this side by 12 to undo the multiplication and get 1. 12 divided by 12 is 1Q. What I do to one side of the equation, I must do to the other. 144 divided by 12 is 12. So Q equals 12. And then you can plug it in. Substitute 12 for Q. So I have 12 times 12 equals 144. Let's look at the last few word problems. A hot air balloon flew 10 miles per hour. Using the variable H, and write and solve a multiplication quantity equation to find how many hours, how many hours the balloon traveled if it covered a distance of 70 miles. So miles per hour. So miles per hour times the number of hours equals the distance. So m miles per hour times number of hours equals the distance. So if I was driving two miles or walking two miles per hour and I walked for three hours, I'd gone a distance of six miles, okay? But let's plug in our numbers here. So how fast was the balloon going? The balloon's going 10 miles per hour. We don't know how many hours, though. So 10 times h, but we do know the distance equals 70 miles. So how can I isolate the h? Divide each side by 10. I have 1 h. What I do to one side, I must do to the other. 70 divided by 10 equals 7. Okay. Now let's take a look at number the one. So a passenger helicopter can travel 300 miles, 300 miles in the same amount of time it takes a hot air balloon to travel 20 miles. How many, use the variable s to write how many, solve a multiplication problem to find how many miles faster the helicopter can travel than the hot air balloon. So what we have is, uh, let me erase this now. So it's going, the hot air balloon can draw 20 miles at the same time. The helicopter can go 300. So how do I make these 20 equal to 300? 20, how many times faster? What do I do here? Times what? So I'm going to use the variable s. I like, I think I'll use you know, S, I'll use S. I don't know why they picked S. 20S equals 300. So how do I isolate the X? Divide by 20. S equals, now, divide by 20. And I think I'm going to get 15. Let's work it out. So um, 300 divided by 20. I'm just going to work it out. It won't take long. 20 here. I left over with uh, 10. Bring down the 0. And I have 100 divided by 20 is 5. So S equals 15 times faster. 
That's pretty fast. So take a look, see if you work this out okay, and have a great day.